Welcome back to H20. So in this uh, section, we want to define events and frames. Um, the goal is to define the principle of relativity. So let's think first about what an event actually is. An event is something that happens, and it happens independently of the frame of reference, independently in how we want to describe the event itself. We might use the frame, a reference frame, to define the event. But again, the event is an independent thing which happens. Let's look at an example, probably one of my favorite examples in this class. Guess what happens? What? Professor Kluter exploded. OK? Really? And then you start asking the questions, when and where? When did it happen and where did it happen? But the event happens without a description of the when and where. We can then draw a reference frame, as I did here, um, with an origin, with an x-coordinate, a y-coordinate, and a z-coordinate. And in this, in this picture, we have a spot defined uh, for the event. And we need to also have a fourth co a coordinate for this, the time, in order to describe when the event actually happened. And I did this here in some coordinates. I give you, it's, you know, 42 degrees north, 75 degrees west, Cambridge, Massachusetts at MIT. You see MIT, the dome behind me, at 3.30 p.m. on January 6, 2021. So I give you the when and the where for this event. I didn't give you the altitude, for example. This is, you know, in this picture, maybe the y-coordinate or the z-coordinate, um, but that would be needed as well. I, I just tell you, maybe it's a, my office uh, on the fourth floor in building 24. All right. So when we want to consider an event, describing an event, we have to consider the space, the where, and the time, the when. And we can do this as a four-dimensional vector, a four-vector four data set. And so our event, Professor Kluter exploded, can be described with this vector P, which has an x coordinate, a y coordinate, a z coordinate, and a time coordinate. All right. So the important part here is that events happen independent on the frame of reference. Um, if you're sitting in your um, in your room somewhere in in Europe right now, you can describe um, this event um, with your time frame. There's a six-hour time difference, so the 3:30 p.m. would be 9:30 p.m. in the evening. Um, you can define your little room as the, the origin and then draw an X coordinate, Y coordinate, and Z coordinate and describe this specific event. This description will look different from the description I just gave you, but the event is unchanged. It's independent of the choice of reference. 